Mike, you, you had a lot of big decisions to make on fourth down today in the in the third quarter, fourth and two from their nine, you kick it, uh, and then in the fourth, fourth and four, you kick it. What kind of went into those decisions? Well, I mean, it's too complicated to go over. I mean, I mean seriously, but um, – <clears throat> I mean, when you make decisions like that, you got to know who you're playing, what their strengths are, who you are, what your strengths are, what's the situation. Um, you can't just think about a field goal or or not a field goal in that position. You got to see how many points does it put me up. Okay, am I going to go up to where the next score I go ahead, or if I if I go for it now I I don't get a chance to kick a field goal and go ahead because the crowd always wants us to go for it. I get it. But the point being in being is you have to have a good reason, in my opinion, to go for it, not just to go for it. And that's based on what the score is and then what could happen if they score or don't score if we hold them to a field goal. So there's a lot of different things to think of. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, the one before we got down there going this way, we could have kicked a field goal. I mean, we, we can kick a 60-yarder. But then you have to be willing to say if you don't make it, which the percentages of making a 60 yarder are less than 12%, but we have guys that can do that. But do you want to give them the ball on the 43 yard line going that way? So there's a lot of things that are involved in it. Um, I mean, I don't know, I got almost 20 years of doing it. So, uh, you know, we today we made the right decisions. The, the last one was another big decision to go up seven there. Um, what can, can you go into that one as well? Yeah, so you take a chance on the something getting messed up, and then they can pick it up, right, and run, and that's an issue, or they can reduce the field because at that point they don't have any timeouts. So the clock obviously is our friend. His ability to run concerned me a little bit with just running the ball again on fourth down and giving it to him on the 30-ish, wherever that was. Because now, if you cover down, you have to be in a sink coverage. If you cover down and he takes off and runs the ball, he might run for 40 yards. His ability to pull the ball down and run and take off is what you, had, what you were faced when you played Caleb Williams. I mean, I'm just saying that's the same thought process, because he might take off and run for 40 yards because he runs 4-3 something and he's hard to catch. So, uh, and we we weren't very good in PAT field goal protection a game ago for one of the first times in my career. And I was very upset about that and, and uh, um, in a nice way, told them they need to clean that shit up fast, and they did. And I felt better about it at the end of the game if that would have gone on last week, I wouldn't have kicked it. I would have went for it on fourth down. So you see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that have to go on. And fortunately, it just ended up being the right decisions today. Mike, that first one that, uh, that Joe mentioned, the fourth and two, we kicked the field goal. At that point in the game, you hadn't stopped them at all. That's right. After that, you stopped them the rest of the game. Did you know you were about to stop them? Or did you have a good idea you were about to stop them? Not or really. I didn't want to lose momentum. We had momentum at that time. That that knocked it to a one-score game. I didn't want to lose momentum. We had the crowd on our side. That reduced the game to a one-score game. And I just felt like if we could do that, then we might be able to force them to make a mistake playing on the road. If we were if we were on the road, I probably would have went for it because we didn't have any any advantage with the home uh, home crowd. 